I just got back from my 10 day trip in Italy and I overpacked. So I'm gonna be unpacking with you guys. I literally just got back last night, have not touched anything and share what I didn't wear, didn't use, and what I would have done differently. If you haven't seen my packing vlog, that will be linked down below. I am just gonna say that I definitely overpacked and I do regret it. The trip itself was so, so much fun, but having to lug around really, really heavy bags and backpacks kind of did make getting from city to city a little bit more difficult. So let me just share what I ended up not wearing. Now, just a quick recap, if you did not watch that video, all I brought with me for 10 days was this backpack right here. It's a 40 liter backpack and as my personal item, I bought this bag right here. This is the Bayes Mini Weekender bag. And let me just say, if I ever go back to Italy or Europe, which I plan on doing, I'm definitely going to pack way differently. Before I even get into the bags, I was recommended by so many TikToks, videos, and people, and me and my family just thought that it would be best to not bring anything rolling. If I go back, I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna bring a rolling suitcase. My experience was that honestly having really heavy backpacks was doing more damage to my shoulders than if I would've just had to carry a suitcase up or down some flights of stairs. Lots of places had elevators or escalators. We were doing a lot of walking, but we didn't always have our bags with us. So with that being said, here is what I did and did not wear. Let's start with the backpack. So backpack had basically all of my clothes in it and then my other bag was more like toiletries, electronics, camera, things like that. So here's the backpack that I brought. I got this on Amazon. I actually really like this backpack and will definitely use it for like a weekend trip or something like that. But it did hurt my shoulders because if you can see, I literally packed this absolutely as full as it could get. So starting from the back, starting from this very back pocket, um, here is what it ends up looking like. So I went to, I want to say like five or six, we moved hotels five or six different times. So every time we moved, that was me repacking my bag. So it's not packed exactly the same as it was when I was going there, but here's how it looked coming back. Here are, my teva like hiking sandals that i brought i actually really really like these and i wore these the majority of the trip i think there's only like two times where i did not wear these the only thing is is that my pinky toes actually started to blister because of how this side piece was hitting it threw on some band-aids and was fine i actually really love these shoes and are definitely going to buy more tevas they're super cute and they also fit well with like whatever outfit i was wearing whether it was a skirt dress anything like that so these i would recommend bringing i have to add up how many miles total we walked but each day i was walking between six to ten miles in the shoe bag i brought a pair of cuter sandals i did not wear these these are from Old Navy that I bought specifically for this trip. Actually, the only time I wore these was literally for 10 minutes to walk across the street and get a quick snack from McDonald's because my tevas were all sandy and dirty and I had just taken a shower. So these did not get worn. Um, they're flat. They didn't take up much space, but still they just were not necessary. And then that was it for the back pocket. So in the front pockets, these two front pockets are like little tiny pockets that are exposed. We were warned a lot about pickpocketing, so you don't want to put anything important into the outer pockets. The only thing that I kept in here were my extra power adapters. Um, I ended up bringing three of them and I only used one but my aunt lost one so I gave it to them. So this one actually did not get used, it was just a spare power adapter onto the inside so this is what the inside looks like i have about seven maybe packing cubes that were all stuffed in here like this the packing cubes definitely did make it a lot easier to quickly pick out outfits also i made a notes app where i planned out every single outfit 
for the most part, I stuck to that. I think maybe one day or one or two days I switched up outfits, but using packing cubes for organizing different items and also planning out my outfits made every day go so much smoother. As I started wearing clothes, I put the dirty clothes into these two different drawstring bags that came with my packing cubes. But as those filled up, I would just move clothes around and ended up using some of the packing cubes that were empty as dirty clothes bags. I actually did not do laundry the entire time. So let me go through clothes that did not get worn. This white skirt, super cute maxi skirt, did not get worn. I think I originally planned this for a beach day outfit, but there was a lot of walking on rocks and white just gets dirty so this ended up not being worn this dress this beautiful maxi dress it's a one shoulder with a cutout ended up not getting worn when i was packing i was thinking that we would go to at least two or three nice dinners so i would be out all day in one outfit go home and change into a nicer dinner outfit that didn't happen we ended up just being out walking all day that we would just find somewhere to eat and there was not really any like going back and getting ready and going back out so this dress did not get worn this next dress if you watched my video before i was having like an existential crisis over whether or not to bring it and last minute i threw it in my bag it did not get worn super cute though um this little like poofy red dress from Abercrombie. I really did want to find somewhere to wear it, but it didn't get worn. <sighs> this skirt, she's beautiful. This mini skirt from Old Navy, again, it just did not get worn. I think I packed it thinking that I would wear it out. We didn't go out. I was thinking maybe like once or twice we'd go out, out at night, like to a club or to a bar. We were so exhausted that we just did not have the energy. So this did not get worn. Toward the end, I just started throwing things into these packing cubes. Um, I brought a couple of like casual clothes. I did not end up wearing these shorts. I also did not end up wearing this. I planned this as this denim mini skirt as my outfit to explore the Pompeii ruins, which I'm so glad that I didn't do because it ended up being extremely hot and a lot, a lot of walking. Like I think I walked four or five miles just in Pompeii. This did not get worn. And I think, I think that is it. Actually, there's a couple other things I didn't wear. So I brought again just a couple of like t-shirts and shorts to wear to sleep, but I ended up kind of just sleeping in the same thing every night. So this shirt right here did not get worn. This bodysuit. Just a one shoulder bodysuit, did not get worn. I think I brought it as like an extra outfit. And there were of course just extra like socks and underwear, but everything else got worn. Now, a couple of things. I actually ended up coming home with more clothes in Rome. We went to Zara and I bought a couple of things, really small tops so that they were able to just be stuffed in my bag. I do wish I had more space to do more shopping, but I was aware that I could not buy that much. So from Zara, I got this cute um, top that has the front cut out in white. Same exact top in black. These were on sale. So these tops were nine euros each. And then I got another top. I have to find it. That was only two euros. So I brought back three extra tops. Other than that, everything got worn. A couple of things. White linen gets super, super dirty. I wore these pants, I think twice, and they got pretty dirty. My white linen shorts, I actually wore twice, and <laughs> I wore them to Pompeii, and just from like walking and sitting, they did get pretty dirty, so I probably have to bleach these. They also were a little bit see-through, but super cute. Everything else got worn. Um, I guess the only thing, let me go through. Oh, here's the other top, dirty, that I got from Zara. Just super cute little black top. You'll see these in my Rome Instagram pictures. Um, everything else got worn. The only thing is I did bring a couple of extra items of clothing. On the way home from the plane ride, I wore 
my biker shorts and one of the t-shirts that I packed and then also my jean jacket. Playing right home, I wore my tennis shoes. They ended up getting pretty dirty. On the trip, I think I only wore them two times and then on the plane ride there and back. That was the backpack. It was very, very heavy. I definitely could have condensed these down. I had like different outfits for every day. I could have mixed and matched them. Do I regret the outfits? No, but if I do this again, I would just bring a rolling suitcase. Honestly, whether you bring a suitcase or a backpack, you're going to be doing some type of lifting, whether the pain is on your shoulders or on your arms from carrying a suitcase. Either way, you're gonna be doing some type of carrying. Now, this bag right here, <laughs> this bag honestly was the death of me. I've had this bag for three years and normally when I would travel, I would have a carry-on suitcase and then this bag has a trolley sleeve so that I wasn't actually carrying it. I never realized how heavy this bag gets on your shoulders. So every time we moved from place to place, I had this really heavy backpack on and then this on over that and my shoulders were actually like hurting. I would have to stop and take breaks to put my bags down. So here's what was in this bag. It was more electronics and toiletries. So I brought my laptop. Um, I did edit a little bit on the way. I probably could have done without bringing it, but I wanted to make sure that I had everything backed up to Google storage. So every single time we would stop somewhere that had Wi-Fi, I would just take all my pictures and videos and back them up just in case anything happened. I brought this book and I honestly, oh, my camera's about to die. Let me change the battery. So I brought this book with me because I thought I would read more on the plane, lots of train rides and things in between cities. But honestly, I was like editing either on my phone, pictures, reels, videos, or on my laptop. And so my cousin actually read this book Finished it within the first couple of days, but on the plane ride home, I got pretty into it and I read about 200 pages. So, mm, do I regret bringing this? No, but I wish I would have spent more time actually reading it. Also, my poor book got kind of like banged up just from being like thrown around in the bag. Toiletries. Let's talk toiletries. Go back and watch my video and look at the amount of toiletries I packed. And I think I said this. I knew that this bag was bigger than the TSA quart size, but I've just always gotten away with it locally, domestically, not internationally. So we actually had to go through customs twice because we had a layover or a connection in London. And then when we got to Italy, we had to go through it again. And let's just say I had to throw away a lot of stuff. So when we first landed in London, they gave us these like little plastic quart bags and you had to put all of your liquids in there. I tried as much as I could, but I brought way too many liquids. So before the trip even began, I had to throw away my body wash, my native body wash. I threw away um, a conditioner, mouthwash. I think I threw away something else too. I had to just start throwing stuff in the trash and prioritizing what to keep. Then on the way home, I ended up having to throw away more stuff. So I definitely brought too many liquids. Um, next time I think I will just buy more stuff when I get there and try to use it all and throw it away because I was in a panic in customs, just tossing away stuff, having to figure out what to prioritize. So I ended up um, buying body wash when I was in Italy. I just went to like a local store, got this one and the liquids that I prioritize keeping are like deodorant, toothpaste, um some of the more expensive like face washers and stuff but yeah i definitely overpacked on the liquids my medicine bag i actually only um i took an advil the first day i had a headache took some pepto bismol but the other stuff didn't get used but it's always just good to have just in case there's an emergency um what else is in here my camera stuff i did not use this little light at all but i was vlogging every single day so the only camera that i brought with me was my vlogging camera 
my Sony camera right here. And then I also brought three extra batteries. I actually ended up never needing them. I would charge my battery every single night and that one would last me throughout the entire day. So that was good. This cord organizer was very helpful because I had a lot of different things in here. So this was helpful for organizing all of my cords. Um, whenever we would travel, I would end up just throwing my phone charger with the adapter in my bag so I could charge it on the train, not have to take out all the cords. So this was the adapter that I used and it had plenty of plugs and things like that to charge everything. What else in here? My Polaroid. I ended up taking a couple of Polaroid pictures. Um, I kind of wish I brought my other one. The square Polaroid gets better quality, but I always take this with me. For some reason, I brought two pairs of sunglasses. I only wore one. Um, these are from Key Australia, and they're the same style, but just different colors. These black ones are my daily sunglasses. I didn't wear the other ones. Gum, always needed. Hair clip. What else was in here? And then the bottom patch. Also, this bag is like on its last, last leg. So let me show you. I was struggling so much. Like the entire straps, the leather is just peeling off. So I think it's almost time to retire this bag. But on this bottom part, that comes detached. A few more things down here. I'm really happy I brought this. Initially, I wasn't going to, but this is my canvas tote bag from JZD, Texas Latina Company. And I ended up using these on days like beach days, also a couple of times where I needed to put extra things in. Like if I had a Polaroid, my phone, a vlogging camera, like all these things, they just weren't going to fit in my crossbody bags. Um, oh, there's a purse somewhere in my backpack i forgot i brought this i also brought a crossbody purse i only wore this once it is cute but it just didn't end up being my favorite thing to grab for um in here spray bottle for my hair i only use once definitely would not bring this again jewelry box i really probably didn't need it was taking up lots of space i ended up just wearing these same earrings every single day. Hair bag, um, I think was necessary because after the beach, I had to like fully wash and detangle my hair. So just brushes, things like that. I brought a whole bag of like pads and tampons and stuff because I was on my period at the beginning of the trip, but I definitely brought way too much. I didn't want to throw it away because it's expensive, but this was taking up a lot of room. And then I also got some souvenirs for my family. When we were in Rome, I got a couple of different cute little rosaries, different colors. Oh, and the last thing, this is what I wore on me at the airport. This honestly was the best thing ever. I bought this just for the trip. It's from Bays, the sports sling. And this was everything. So this was kind of like my daily bag that I would wear that had the most essential things in it. I always took my passport every single where that I went and this passport holder was really handy. I also used the passport holder to keep my um, cards, ID, COVID card, which I didn't need. And in this little slit right here, I used it to keep all of my Polaroids. So this was a super great purchase. I love this so much and luckily did not lose my passport. And then also I would just keep like lip balm. I would keep my phone in here. And this is the best part. This back pocket popped out a water bottle holder. I was dehydrated like most of the trip because drinking water there is just like not the same as when you go to an American restaurant and you get a free glass of ice water. Not really a thing that you have to keep buying bottled water and so this was super handy. Love this so much but it did, it did get pretty dirty and dingy so I'm gonna have to wash it. Um, on days where I would bring this bag I would just put the essentials in here and then put it in there. 
So that is everything I packed. I did overpack, but lots of the stuff I did end up needing or using. Again, if I could do this all over again, I would probably bring a rolling carry-on suitcase and then bring this bag and just slide it onto the trolley. But overall, it was such a great trip and I loved all my outfits. Guys, you need to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, watch all the pictures and videos. And I think next time I definitely know how to do a much better job of packing and being more minimal. I almost forgot this bottom pocket that's supposed to be for shoes, makeup I brought, makeup that did not even get used at all. I brought like powder, foundation, um, a couple of things. I wore blush and mascara twice. The rest of the time it was so hot and I was sweating so much none of this makeup got worn so probably would only pack makeup on a trip where i am not walking 10 miles a day in the heat so this also kind of just taking up space and did not really get used i'm working on editing the entire vlog of all of my travels from day to day so make sure to subscribe stay tuned for that i'll catch you guys in the next video bye